All right, we got another pulley problem here, and this one looks uh, a little tricky, right? We've got a bunch of pulleys here. We've got a gear set here that's moving, and it tells us that cylinder C is being lifted using the cable and pulley system shown, and point A on the cable is being drawn upward um, toward that drum with a speed of two meters per second, and we want to find the speed of the cylinder. Okay, so we're looking for VC. Now, what we have to do before we even start is count the number of cables that we have. Okay, so if you see, we have this one wraps around here and goes all the way up to there. So that's one cable. And you might be saying, well, we have one here and here, but are these lengths really ever going to change? No, because this distance is going to be fixed. That's just kind of hooking the pulleys together. And then this one here is just hooking the cylinder to that pulley. So we only need to worry about this one really long cable, okay? So that was our first thing. We've got one cable to worry about. Next thing we want to do is put a reference line, okay? Because we're gonna be measuring distances for this cable. And we want to pick a pulley or a fixed point that's not going to change locations. All right, so I think this one right here would be good. So let's have that be our reference line. All right, so we wouldn't want any of these other places to be our reference line because they can move up or down depending on the motion. This one here is kind of fixed in place because it's attached to that surface up at the top. Now, what we need to do is look at this one cable and figure out the parts of that cable that can change the length, okay? so. What I mean by that is when this is pulling this up, let's figure out what's going on here. So as this moves up, right, this thing is spinning this way. So it's gonna pull this cable this way. So that's gonna move this up, makes this shorter, and it's gonna basically change a bunch of these lengths, right? So we wanna give those lengths that can change a variable name, right? So let's, let's look at how to do that. So first of all, I see this long length here, okay? Well, now this one can change because the cylinder is being drawn up. So if the cylinder is coming up, this length here is going to get shorter eventually. So what we wanna do is give that a name. So let's call that SC. Okay, and we're just gonna to go to the center of that pulley. Now, we don't need to worry about this length of the cable on the bottom of the pulley because that length is gonna be constant. It's not gonna change. So we only care about the lengths that will change. All right, so that's gonna be SC. Now let's look at what else we have. I've got this length, this length, and then this one, and this one that can change. Now let's see if we can label some variables in order to um, take care of all those different lengths, okay? So first of all, I've got this length to A. All right, let's measure to that one. Let's call that SA, okay, because A is gonna be moving up, right? So we need to have a point that references that point A. And then we need something else, all right? And the only other thing we need is this little length right here, okay? And you'll see why in just a second. So let's call that H. Okay, so now with those things, I should be able to get an equation for the total length of that cable, right? Minus the little constants that are around the pulley and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Before we do that though, let's draw this out. Now this length and this length will stay the same. Those aren't gonna change, okay? So now let's write an equation L for the length of this pulley, okay? First of all, I've got SC. We know we have this length here. So SC goes there. And then if I come over to this side, I've got this length here and this one. I need to account for those because those can both change, right? This H isn't gonna change, that's a constant. So in order to get this length here, what we can do is say plus SC minus H. 
right? Because that'll give us the length here with these two. Next, let's keep working our way over to the left. I need uh, this side here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do SC minus the H here, and then minus SA. Okay, so that gets rid of this part and this part, which then leaves me with this piece and this piece. Okay, so that'll take care of the whole length of the cable minus these, you know, constant parts, like I said before. Now that we have this, we can go ahead and let's kind of simplify it because I can group up a lot of these terms. So L is going to be 3CH. We've got minus H, then minus H again, so minus 2H, and then minus SA. All right. Now what we want to do, we need to get this velocity in here, right? And I'm looking for a velocity, so I need to take the derivative of this. Because if I take the derivative of this, I'm going to get um, SC dot and SA dot, which those are our velocities of A and C. So let's do the time derivative. Now, if I do the derivative of L, we get L dot. Am I going to have a zero for that or no? It will be zero, right? Because the total length of that cable is not changing. So it's a constant. So it's going to go to zero. And then on the right side, we're going to have 3SC dot minus 2H dot. But is H going to change? No, because that's like a fixed distance there. So that goes to zero. And then minus SA dot. All right, now remember, SC dot is the velocity of point C. SA dot is the velocity of A. All right, so if you want, you can replace those um, terms. And then that'll give us 0 equals 3VC minus VA. And then we can solve for VC because that's what we're looking for. So VC will be VA over 3, but VA was given as 2, right? And it was going up. So that means we can have... 2 over 3. Now, before we finish, though, we got to look at our signs. So I'm going down, right? So I'm saying down here is positive because we're measuring from this line going that way. So if 2 meters per second is going up, that's the opposite direction. So that would need to be a negative. Okay. So then that would be um, your result. So 2 over 3 meters per second is negative. So that means it's going up. And then that would be your velocity of cylinder C, right? And it makes sense that it would be moving up because this uh, drum here is rotating, pulling that cable upward. All right. Hopefully you like that one. I'll see you next time.